<laughs> I'm not talented. Hey guys, it's Wendy. Oh my god, I forgot to send my timer for my face mask. <laughs> Love that for me. It's Wendy. Babes goals. I'm back and I'm with another video. Um, we're gonna call this face mask with Wendy. Also, I'm wearing pants. I'm just wearing shorts. Just saying. Um, I just like really wanted to have a life update. Also, why I'm looking at my phone right now is because I'm setting my timer for my face mask um I just really wanted to have a life update with you guys because I feel like you guys don't know me I really just like make a lot of singing videos that are like super mediocre they're like not good at all um and I enjoy making those but I really actually want to have a relationship with you guys like a friendship <laughs> so um, might as well just have you guys here in on my most sacred time, which is when I have my face mask on. I'm on spring break currently, so, like, I've been doing face masks every other day, which is probably, like, really bad for your skin. That's probably not good for your skin, like, at all, but does it look like I care? Not at all. Also, like... You know, the quality is just going down. You would think after, like, being on YouTube for a bit, you would, like, better your quality. No, we're just getting worse. We're going from my iPhone to my laptop camera. Like, which is, like, the worst camera of all. Like, I don't think you could get worse than, like, a MacBook camera. They're so bad. But really, I just, I don't really know what you guys, like, want to know. I'm not really, like, interesting, but I just wanted to, like, tell you guys about my life and just like about me because I feel like you guys don't really know so I wanted to do a Q&A but I was like who's gonna ask me questions <laughs> no one obviously but basically I am Wendelisis everyone calls me Wendy you guys could call me Wendy if you guys like ever like talk to me because you can like literally slide into my dm like someone actually dm'd me a while ago um and i like talked to her for a bit or yeah it wasn't her um so you guys can like slide into my dms if you want to but yeah you guys can call me windy i'm 18 i know i look 12 don't come at my life like I don't know what to tell you. All you 18 year olds that look like you're like 25, not even actually all you 14 year olds that look like you're 25. When you're old, you're gonna look extra old. Me, when I'm 30, I'm gonna look like I'm like, you know, pop it like 21. Like I'm like living life. When I'm 60, I'm gonna look like I'm, you know, 40. So honestly, not complaining. <laughs> but um yeah i'm 18 no one really believes me when i say that um and i don't really have a license or like an id to like prove that but i'm in college and trust me i'm not smart enough to be at college at like 12 years old i definitely definitely not oh my god i was imagining me at 12 years old in college me at eight well i started college when i was 17 um earlier this year because i just turned 18 like three months ago um but me at 17 going into college, like, I literally, like, cried, like, the first day of school. Like, I'm not even kidding. I went into, like, my dad's room the first, like, day of classes, and I cried. Like, I sat there, and I weeped, <laughs> and I was like, I don't want to go. Like, do not make me go, and I didn't, like, start liking college for a while when I was in there. I'm not Olivia Jade. I did not pay my way into college. I'm broke. Just saying. I love college now. I'm very appreciative to be in college. Um, but I do remember, like, I'm going to be completely honest, like, the first week of school, like, I literally wanted to drop out. I was like, this is not for me. Like, I hate this. Um, but I actually do like it, and I definitely want to graduate um, college. So hopefully catch me class 2022. I'll be out that hoe. Like, I'll be out her. Like, I won't be going back. Like, Actually, I might go back for my master's. We'll see if I'm not like super in debt, but you know college expensive So we'll see about that. But Yeah, like 
I I actually like like college now. Um, I'm majoring in art and entertainment management, but that might possibly change to marketing. I don't know, or even entrepreneurship, because it right now what it seems like I'm leaning towards doing is um, social media management is something that I want to do. Um, so that would obviously stay in my current major. Um, if I switched to a marketing major, I wanted to do a social media marketing kind of job, which both of them are kind of similar. And then if I changed into entrepreneurship, I kind of want to make an online clothing store, which I feel like is kind of like a basic job now for people. Everyone wants to do that. Like every girl wants to do that. But um, yeah, I kind of want to like make a business. And I think that that's what I'm like mostly leaning towards just because I don't want to have a nine to five job. Um, I hate like restriction and like, I don't like knowing that I have to be somewhere at a certain like time. If I had my own business, even if it was like a, um, like an actual business, like with a building or something, like I still wouldn't have to be there all the time. I would just be there when I need to be there. Um, which maybe sounds like super ignorant and maybe that's completely wrong because I know that creating a business is like super difficult. My dad owns his own business, so I know that it's really, really difficult. Um, but yeah, but like it's not like, oh, I would have to be at that store or I would have to be working nine to five every single day. No, I could like leave. I could travel. I could do things while, of course, still being like, you know, on call and stuff like that. But, you know... I like that just because you have a lot more freedom in what you do and where you are and stuff like that. So that's more what I'm leaning towards because I really do not want to have a nine to five job. Like a lot of people like that because that's like really stable. You have healthcare, like all that other stuff, which sounds good to me too. But like, I like having freedom. So that's definitely why I'm more into that option. Um, but I also really, And this isn't, like, a career choice. Like, I don't think I would ever want to do this as a career. But I do really kind of want to be a flight attendant. Um, I just think that that's really cool. Like, I want to travel. And I feel like a job like that could, like, let me travel. If I wasn't in college, I think I would definitely have gone to, like, the training to be a flight attendant. Because I think that's a cool job. Because I love traveling, and I'm, like, a really weird person. I've never met someone who actually likes being on planes. Like, I personally love being on planes. Like, that's one of my favorite parts about going on vacation is that I get to go on a plane. Um, It's, like, literally, like, the best part. Like, literally, I am not even kidding. It just, like, I don't know. There's just something about it. Like, I remember once... This is such a funny story. Honestly, I should be a podcaster. <laughs> I remember once I was like walking with my friend and I was like, I love transportation. She was like, what? And I was like, it could be a train. It could be a bus. It could be a plane, anything. I love transportation. Like being in a moving vehicle is like amazing for me. Like I literally love it. Love it. Which is kind of ironic because I don't drive. Like I do not have a license. I'm 18 and I don't have a license, but I will get my license one day, but I go to school in New York, so it really isn't, like, a huge necessity for me because I don't need it to live in New York. Well, I don't live in New York. I commute. This is all over the place. I hope you guys, like, enjoy this, but it's literally just, like, stream of consciousness. But, yeah, I commute to New York, so I take a bus and a train to go to school every day. Not the best, but as I said, I love transportation, so I literally don't mind it either because like I'll literally sit on my bus or I'll sit on my um train and I'll be like chilling like just there like I literally love it I'm a weird person I don't know why I'm like that um but yeah what else can I say what what else is really cool that's happening well not really cool because my life isn't interesting but ooh ooh I recently and I'm like super late on this bandwagon I recently became obsessed with David Dobrik like literally obsessed like I love him he kind of is inspiring me to like vlog um except like my life is nowhere near as interesting I'm not as creative as him at all like literally you guys see my quality I'm filming 
on my MacBook. Like, what? Um, so, yeah, like, I, and my life isn't really interesting, but he is really inspiring to vlog. I feel like that's, like, so cool. And I watched, like, a lot of videos on him or, or like, with him in them, and he just seems like a really, like, hard-working person and stuff like that to have like gotten to where he is in his life and in his career I think that that's like really cool and really inspiring and I really love him and he's hilarious and the rest of the vlog squad obsessed with them Scotty my fave Jeff you're beautiful I love you you're the one for me um who else do I really like on the vlog squad I like everyone I really do like everyone I think that everyone's like really funny um but yeah um, I'm obsessed with them, like, literally so cool, and if you guys, like, think, like, if you guys want me to vlog, like, maybe, like, a day in my life going to school, like, going from Jersey to New York, and New York, and back from New York to Jersey, um, if you guys, like, would like to see that, I would totally do it, I would try it, um, I did, like, want to do a vlog, like, last year I went to Dominican Republic on vacation, and I wanted to do a vlog, but I ended up, like, feeling like I wasn't enjoying my vacation because I was recording so much so I didn't like really get to enjoy it um but yeah but if you guys do like want me to vlog something like I definitely will because I think that that's really cool and I actually go to a school like my, the community in my school is like very very pro YouTube a lot of people do YouTube um a lot of people are also like you know, getting into the entertainment industry because I go to school in New York City, everyone kind of is definitely more geared towards that type of realm. Like, I know there's a lot of YouTubers in, like, my school. And, um, actually, I'm pretty sure next semester they're making, like, a, a creators club, I think it is. And I definitely kind of want to join it because I feel like that's really cool. Like, it's a really cool place to, like, meet people who are also interested in YouTube, and YouTube is something that I love. I love to watch. Um, I wish I was, like, more motivated to make videos. I don't think I'm super motivated to make videos. Like, sometimes I do, and, like, if I get to it, I'll get to it. It's more, like, something like that, and I'm not, like, super proud of my videos, um, so I do, like, want to, like, you know, better them and better the quality and, like, really do things that I want to make and, like, create things that I want to make, um, so I think that once that, like, club opens, I'll definitely, like, be in that because I want to meet people who, you know, are interested in this because I'm interested in this. Um, but, yeah, so if you guys, like, want me to vlog, I'll vlog. Um, and like David said, I don't think, like, if I started to vlog, I would, like, not be interested in the moment because I did, like, watch one of his videos and he was like, I don't feel like I don't enjoy the moment. It's just, like, really cool that I could look back on any day um, because I literally recorded it, so I think that's, like, really cool, like, a really cool concept that, like, he promotes, and he's my fave at the time, like, I'll literally show you, like, these are my faves, my girl Ariana Grande, you know, <laughs> I'm such a little, like, um, what's it called, what is that, a beauty girl, <laughs> definitely not that, um, and then my babe, David, oh, focus okay well that's not gonna focus but that's david because i literally love him um those are my screens what else is interesting hmm oh i'm going to an ariana grande concert on june 15th at barclays so if any of you guys are gonna be there let me know because I will be at the concert. I'm so excited. I got the tickets for, like, Christmas and my birthday. Because um, my birthday is, like, really close to Christmas. Um, so I got them for kind of both. But I got them on, like, like maybe, like, three days after Christmas. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to that. And I'm literally obsessed with her. I've, I've been wanting to go see her live since the honeymoon tour and I remember my sister went to the honeymoon tour and I was like literally like crying crying tears like real literal tears because she didn't get me a ticket um because it was like really long ago um but I was literally crying like bawling my eyes out um 
And then Dangerous Woman Tour came. My sister didn't go to that one. And then this tour, I was like, I need to go. Like, Sweetener was my favorite album um, until, obviously, Thank You Next came in. And I was like, ooh, I feel like a bad bitch. Like, this is my music. This is really it. Um, But Sweetener, I remember when it came out, like, I literally loved it. Like, I was... Well, when it first came out, I'm not going to lie, like, I was like, mm, maybe this ain't it, Ariana, like, mm-mm. But then I kept listening to it, and I was like, wait, this is really it. Like, this is it, sis. She got it. Um, But, and then Thank You Next came out, and I was like, <laughs> girl, ooh, we're going to stop this. But let me finish my thought on Ariana Grande, and then I'll be done with face masks with Wendy. If you guys want this to be a what's it called series maybe I'll do it again but um yeah so like thank you next came out and I was like this is it and at that point I had already gotten the tickets but I already knew that like thank you next was gonna be like the album just based off of like what she had released at the point that I got tickets and then it came out and she snatched my wig and I was like sis I can't wait to see this live and then like the tour started like this week and I watched like literally everything and I kid you not I'm literally gonna cry because everything about it is amazing the visuals the outfits the vocals sis the vocals like I don't even know what to say I'm speechless um but I can't wait to see it so if you guys are gonna go let me know hit me up because I will be there um but y'all already know my timer went off and i'm pretty sure if you keep face mask on for longer than you should something bad is probably going to happen to your skin which you know i really can't risk that at this point so i'm gonna be out um i don't got anything else to say follow me on my socials if you want to you don't have to i'm really not that interesting i usually post a lot more i haven't been really posting in march just because I haven't been going out or feeling super cute lately. School has been draining me. Um, But yeah, follow me on my socials if you want to, which will be linked down below. And any video suggestions that you guys want, um, any covers or any songs or anything that you guys want to see from me in the future, comment them down below or DM me or anything. Um, And I'll make sure to make them because I want to make what you guys want to see of course obviously I hope that you guys really enjoyed this hope you liked getting to know me a little bit and I'll see you guys soon bye